hello friends today in this tutorial we will be integrating the suite alert 2 library in order to display pop up uh, display messages inside your angular 13 application so you will see this is the alert message success alert message so basically if you click on ok it will go so i will be telling you how to integrate it so we will be using this library suite alert 2 so if you just search on npm this is the library that we are using here so if you want to you can see this is a library 407,000 weekly downloads so this there if you want to follow along with this tutorial i have given all the source code in the video description this is the step by step tutorial where all the source code is given alongside with instructions so we have will be having success dialog error dialog or simple hello world so now let's get started so first of all <coughs> inside my projects directory i will make a new directory which will be angular pop up i will go into this directory and open visual studio code text editor so here first of all guys what you need to do is that you need to initialize your angular project so we have given this name so it this will ask for you whether you want routing so we will press n we will use CSS so now it will install these packages and uh, it will take hardly 5 to 10 seconds so I will be back whenever it is done so now guys you can see all these dependencies are installed so here first of all we need to install this module which is uh, npmi then just write here sweet alert 2 so install this package so now after installing it you need to go to your angular json file so this is a file here which is a top level file angular.json so here inside this styles array you need to add a line so just put a comma and add this line which is node underscore modules and inside this there is a folder which is sweet alert 2 and you need to include the source also and this sweet alert 2 dot sas file which is dot scss so just write this line here in this array after that close this file and uh, here we will now move to the app dot component dot html file so we will launch this application so just write ng serve so here we need to go to the directory here which is angular pop up sorry so this is a project directly let me go sorry angular project cd angular project so this is a directory here you need to install this package npmi suite alert 2 So now install this inside this directory inside your projects directory so now it has installed so right here inside your app dot component delete all this code so now if I launch this application by ng serve so it will start this application at uh, port number 4200 so here you need to write something here so we can give a h1 heading so we will say simply angular 13 Sweet alert to pop up message examples. So here we will have three buttons. The first button will be simply a simple alert message. The second button will be of uh, success alert with success. and the third button will be the confirm alert message so these are the three types you can read more about it using that library suite alert 2 and uh, if, if you just see here it is compiled successfully so we can launch this application localhost 4200 so you will see three buttons are there so when we press these buttons the messages must show 
so now we will bind on click event handler so each of these buttons so when we click the first button we need to invoke this function which is simple alert so we will make this function and for the second button we will again have the event handler so this will be alert with success and lastly for the third button we will again have confirm box so these are three methods we need we need to declare here inside your app.component.ts file so right here so first of all guys we need to define our simple alert method which we define inside our this button here simple alert so we are defining here so when we press this button we need to invoke swell library so we need to import this so this will automatically import it from this sweet alert to library so just add this line at the very top so here we will use our uh, dot fire method and here you can just say hello world simple and uh, let me just delete this two buttons here and just show you this first button if it is working or not so now if I click this button you will see this hello world message printed out and is containing a ok button so if you click it the message will go so simple ok button and you can also customize the message you can just provide any message of your choice you can see so this is a simple alert message and now we will add these two buttons once again so now we will write the second function which is alert with success so we will now show the alert with success the second is guys again we will use the same method fire and uh, here we will change the text to thank you dot 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 and put a comma and here you can provide the option the second parameter you submitted successfully and the third parameter you will provide uh, that this is a success message so here you will say success just write here in a string value just write success so now this will become a success button so again let me delete the third one so you will see if I click it this nice animation green animation will come which is a tick mark and it will say thank you you submitted successfully and if ok button is there so this is very much useful when you are taking some kind of input from a user or you are submitting a form so you should be having to display some kind of success alert message so in those situations you can use this library inside your angular applications and lastly if you want to take some input and confirm it we have this confirm box method so now we will write the third method so which is confirm box so inside this once again we will use the same method fire method so this takes the object guys first of all we will have a title property so here we will asking for a statement for from the user are you want to remove this item we will post a question and uh, we will also provide a text property you will not be able to recover this file and put a comma once again and uh, here you can uh, display icon also we will display the icon of warning and uh, there is a show cancel button property all these properties are there you will see show confirm button show close button so show cancel button we will put this to true you can play with these you can also put it to false so cancel button will be shown to the user and the confirm button text so this will be equal to yes delete it put a comma once again 
and a cancel button text so here we will say no keep it put a comma and lastly guys we will have this returns a promise so we will use make use of the dot then syntax dot then and inside this we will get the result which the user has selected inside this fashion a callback function arrow function so here we will compare the value if result dot value if a value is there in that case we will fire that again we will use the fire method and here we will say delete it and put a comma second argument your file has been deleted and a success message in that scenario you can display like this and in the else if the user hasn't selected to delete the file in that scenario you can you will have this uh, else if sorry else if the result is equal to triple equal to swell dot dismiss reason dot cancel so if the user has cancelled it so this condition will always return false in the times let me see else if if you go to the video description link i have written that code so you will find this code here right here so we, we are writing this stuff here so from that let me just copy it dismiss reason So this is a code here so whenever the user has selected delete the file we will say the success alert message if not then we will compare it and we will be displaying a error message your file is saved so now if you refresh the application confirm alert message so it will show you a warning message to you so are you want to remove the file yes delete it or no keep it so if i click yes delete it success message will be shown your file has been deleted if I select the second option then I will see this error message cancelled your imaginary file is safe so there are also error messages also shown to you with icon so this is a very famous library suite alert too with the help of this you can display pop-up alert messages with icons as well with great animation inside angular 13 application and simple alert box you can also display it so all such examples i have shown you in this video with all the source code and i have shown you the steps required so if you want to download all the source code you can go to the video description link and please hit the like button subscribe the channel and i will be seeing you in the next video